On today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, you have your BitPixel LED marquee for your Eck Games Legends family of products. And you want to know how do I set up some custom BitPixel LED marquee images. And we're going to show you how to do all of that right after this. Okay, guys, we are back, and it's important to note if you want to access this feature, you do need to be on the Universal Firmware 5.36.0 or higher, which was released back on June 3rd, 2021 by At Games. You'll notice here we have all these different kind of uh, tile options or menu options at the top of our system, games, arcade net, lobby, BYOG, and then underneath that we have all the individual tiles. Now, whenever you go and you navigate to these individual tiles, it'll just scroll a text message with what these tiles are, especially under the settings menu. And if you ask me, this is pretty boring. So what's really cool now is with this feature, you can go ahead and add custom images and designs for all of these tiles. Or if you wanted, you could set up different marquees for the included games. I will have a link in the video description below that'll take you to the At Games website where these directions are published, but we're gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to do just by following this video. First thing you wanna do on a blank flash drive is just create a new folder in the root of the flash drive. Make sure your flash drive has been formatted, um, XFAT, FAT32, and we're gonna name that PCX. Well, what does that PCX stand for? Well, that stands for Pixelcade X, the Pixelcade software program. And then underneath that folder, when you go inside of it, you're going to create four new folders. Now, what's really interesting is you'll notice as we start to name these folders, we're going to rename these four folders by right clicking on them and renaming them. And what we want to do is we want to take a look at the top of the user interface for the at game system here. And we want to rename these folders to kind of match what's going on so we can change the marquees for the individual tiles underneath each particular heading. So you notice we have, we're gonna rename these folders ALU for changing game tiles, ArcadeNet for changing the tiles that are underneath the ArcadeNet category, BYOG for changing marquees on the tiles underneath the BYOG category, and of course the last folder will be settings in order to change the marquees that come underneath the uh, tiles under the settings menu on the user interface. Okay guys, now it's time to the fun part. You can go ahead and use whatever photo editing software you have on hand or you're experienced with. If you wanna make a static image, a single marquee image, um, it does need to be in a PNG format with a resolution of 128 pixels by 32 pixels. Um, also, when it comes to animated marquees, those need to be 128 pixels by 32 pixels as well, and those need to be in a GIF format. You could either start with a blank canvas if you're artistically talented, or you could just pull images off the internet and tinker with them as you see fit in order to get the marquee to fit. So in this case, I just hopped into Paint 3D, took one of my own images, added a little background to it, and then resized it uh, using the tools in Paint 3D. Once your image is ready to go, whether it is a static image or a GIF animated image, you can go ahead and just save it right to that USB flash drive that we have set up that's plugged in. Just go ahead and click on File, Save As, navigate to the PCX folder, determine which uh, folder you or which tile you want to change the marquee on. In this case, we're going to head over and we're going to change the local streaming tile that's underneath the BYOG heading. And of course, you have to type it in exactly how the tile is worded on the user interface for At Games. Once you have all your marquees, animated, or static set up on your flash drive, go ahead and head over to your At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine, and I'll show you how we got this set up. So on the left there, you'll notice I have a USB uh, cable plugged into the left USB port. That is the BitPixel LED marquee plugged in, and right here we have our USB hub with a USB already plugged in. That USB has our Flash Drive X, it also has our Pixel Kate X, it also has our Coin Ops, our Add-on X, all the stuff that we've partitioned and set up in previous videos on a single flash drive. So those are all plugged into the uh, right port into a USB hub. We're gonna go ahead now and head over to our settings menu and we're going to mount our flash drive X flash drive that's already plugged in. This is that flash drive that already has 
flash drive X, it has our coin ops X, it has our pixel Kate X, all that stuff that you've probably set up and I've set up in previous videos as well. We're gonna get that mounted and after we get that mounted, we're gonna go ahead and head over to App Store X, navigate to Pixelcade X, and we're gonna go ahead and launch our Pixelcade. You'll notice that the new flash drive that we created with all the new marquees and stuff hasn't even been plugged in yet. I noticed that if it is plugged in, when you go to launch Pixelcade X, it does make your Pixelcade, your BitPixel LED go a little bit haywire. Uh, so the best way to go is to launch Pixelcade X first, and then we're gonna go ahead and after that's launched, You'll notice when it launches, you get that nice little welcome message so you know you're in a good spot. Once it's launched is now we're gonna head over to our little uh, USB hub that has that flash drive X flash drive and all our goodies already on it. And now we're just gonna simply plug in this additional flash drive that we just created on the PC together with all our new marquees and images. We're gonna go ahead and give it a minute to read. And once it reads, at this point, it'll now, because Pixel Kate X is already running, now we can simply head over to the appropriate tiles where we have put new marquees in, whether they're static images or animated marquees. You'll notice we headed over to local streaming and there's that silly Darkwing Dubs marquee. Again, this was all for tutorial and testing. I'll probably need to change that to a black background. And as you guys already know, especially those of you who own your BitPixel LEDs, these things do not show up good on cameras. So it's always good uh, to see these things in real life due to the auto dimming features on these cameras and filters. Definitely doesn't look as bright and awesome as it does. You'll notice here, courtesy of Jason Wright, viewer of the channel, he did send me a GIF for the Super Game Room dude. So we do have our animated marquee. I put this on for a few of the tiles. That way, as I'm navigating, this will constantly be blinking. And I absolutely love this. And of course, I had no choice. I had to go ahead and I had to throw in a good old macho, macho man, macho dubs. Oh, yeah. Image for a few of these as well. But as you can see here, guys, it's a pretty simple process, a uh, pretty simple tutorial. And yes, it does appear you have to use a separate flash drive for this. I did not have any success getting it to launch at the same time. You do have to plug in the flash drive after the fact. It's definitely another cool feature of owning a BitPixel LED marquee for your At Games Arcade family of products. I think that this is really cool because now we can get rid of all those boring text messages and add custom images and marquees, whatever you see fit, let your imagination go wild. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial video. If you did, give me a thumbs up on the way out, leave your comments below, and as always guys, thank you for subscribing.